Therapy goals following burn injury include reducing swelling to promote healing and reduce risk for infection, as well as restoring and maintaining normal mobility so that you can continue to move normally for daily activities. Edema, also called swelling, is extra fluid that leaks into your tissues due to the inflammatory response following burn injury. Pressure from this extra fluid causes pain, can delay wound healing or make wounds worse by preventing good blood flow to the wound, and increases risk for infection due to reduced circulation. Use your burned hand or arm. Walk if you have burns on your legs or feet. Increased movement and exercise will help increase blood flow and decrease edema. As long as you keep moving while up on your feet, the active pumping of your muscles will increase circulation to your legs. Avoid static standing, use of assistive devices, or sitting with your feet on the floor in order to prevent pooling of edema in your legs and feet. Elevate your burned hand or arm when resting or walking. Swelling will increase due to the pull of gravity if you hang or swing your arms by your sides while you're walking. The easiest way to drain swelling is through a straight downhill pipe with your hand higher than your armpit and your elbow straight. Active fist squeezes while your hands are elevated will act as a pump to help push the swelling out. Keep legs elevated when not actively walking. Again, the easiest way to drain swelling is through a straight downhill pipe. So you want to have your feet higher than your groin with your knee extended. Active movement of your ankles and toes while your legs are elevated will act like a pump to help push swelling out. Wearing compressive dressings like tuba grip, ace wraps, or isotoner gloves can also help reduce swelling in your arms, hands, or legs. Wounds tighten as they heal and scar. This process starts immediately after your injury. Therefore, it is important that you start moving and stretching right away. This time period is your window of opportunity to make sure that your scar matures in a way that allows you to move normally. Because the process of healing and scarring is occurring 24 hours per day, 7 days per week, the best you can do to keep up with it is to stretch every hour when you're awake. Stretching provides feedback to the scar tissue as it's forming and maturing to allow for full normal mobility. What is a contracture? A contracture is tightening and shortening of the skin, muscles, and tendons. Contractures permanently reduce your ability to move and can cause deformities by pulling joints out of alignment. As long as you stretch often enough, hourly when awake, up to 10 times per stretch, hold long enough, at least 30 seconds per stretch, and push yourself hard enough to full range with blanching of the skin, Contractures and functional limitations or deformities are generally preventable. It's okay for dressings to shift and move while you're stretching. Just make sure wounds or open areas are recovered once you're finished. It's also okay or normal to see bloody drainage from your wounds as you stretch and move. It's normal to feel pain as you start stretching and moving. This does not mean you're doing damage to your wound. The more you stretch and move, the less it will hurt. Here are some key points to remember. Keep moving and doing your everyday activities. Keep burned arms or legs elevated when not actively moving or using them. Wear prescribed compression dressings or garments. Stretch every hour that you're awake. It's normal for bandages to move when stretching. It's also normal to see bloody drainage on your bandages while you're stretching. Pain while you're moving and stretching is normal. You are not doing harm. And finally, if it feels tight, stretch it. <laughs>